So I'm super excited to talk to you, Dr. Gallo. I have been literally waiting on this interview probably since we first started talking about a month ago. Um, I am a 2008 graduate of Grambling State University. Um, I love the school. It is near and dear to my heart. All of my friends and family know that. Um, so to sit and talk with you today is like a huge honor for me. So thank you. Well, the thank honor you. is mine because that, that lets everyone in America know that we have quality graduates who work in some of the most premier uh, places there are. I mean, you know, what greater place would there be than the Tom Joyner Morning Show and the, and the Tom Joyner Foundation? Right. Uh, we're proud of you. Oh, and thank you. And what you do and, and, and the example you're setting uh, for all those students we're trying to recruit to come to Grambling. Thank look, you. Because look where you can, uh, can end you. up with a Grambling degree. So we're, we're very proud of you and thank you for this opportunity. Absolutely. Let's hop right in. You took office August 1st. August 1st, that's right. And in less than 60 days. You have done so much for the institution. Uh, literally, you've been everywhere on social media, and I say social media first because nowadays it's kind of the way that you have to connect with our alumni that are you know, spread across the country, sure. and even with the students that are currently on campus. And one of the things that impressed me the most about you let me tell you what it is, besides your mom, because I love her and she is my soror. Um, but I love the fact that you immediately went on Facebook you did the Facebook Live video, and I only get to go to Grambling once a year during homecoming. Mm -hmm. So to have that piece of Grambling here randomly on, on a day in August meant the world to me sure. as an alumni. And then, of course, it got me, I got to know you and what you wanted to do for the university. So tell me why that was um, important to you to get on Facebook and... Well, let, let me first say that uh, that was the result of having an incredible uh, team mm -hmm. supporting us in, in communications, and that, uh, that begins with Will Sutton. Okay. And uh, so what we did as we began to talk about you know, a, a seven-day strategy, a 30-day strategy, and a 100-day strategy mm -hmm. was to incorporate social media into getting the message out. So uh, that, uh, again, I, I wish I could take credit for it, but you know, that was you know, the, just the, uh, the byproduct of having an incredible incredible communications team uh, supporting us on the at the university campus and so yeah I mean it was a it was a huge success huge. Uh, we were uh, I mean just shocked at, at the numbers you know it got it went, when it uh, crossed over 800 people mm -hmm. on at one time I mean it was just like you know, you, know you had something yeah and then yeah. all of the comments were rolling in I think we had over 1400 comments 13,000 shares. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was just, that was an incredible. But, you know, it shows you where we are uh, in terms of technology, and, mm -hmm. and we want to be able to reach uh, our constituents where they are. And so, you know, whether they were at work, at home, hopefully not driving, you know, right. watching, but <laughs> wherever they were, we, we were able to connect with them. And it's important that we do it. And it didn't cost us anything either. Yeah. I mean, the, the only thing it cost us was time, time. And, and, and planning and effort. So, uh, yeah, that, again, you know, was a part of, of Will's, you know, strategy uh, that we could do it. Because, you know, one, one of the problems we, we've suffered from is having uh, other people telling our story. Mm -hmm. No one will tell our story like we, we will. So uh, it's important for us to, to take the message to the people. And, and again, they have, you know, our, our team has really just been incredible in doing that. I mean, to, to be on Roland Martin and, right. uh, and I mean, and, and Roland was, was great. I mean, not only were we on his show, but the fact that he was, you know, tweeting and, mm -hmm. and, and updating his Facebook page and all of that, in the midst of the show was just driving interest in it and so it was right. like the longer we were on there the, the more interest there there was and so many people were uh, were watching and and, uh, and and paying attention to what we were uh, what we were doing so uh, again there's so much good going on at Grambling and you know people you know often like to you know in the media they, they like to you know grab the headlines with something that you know uh, that that's negative you know there's so much positive going mm -hmm. on and you know our student leaders I mean you, you interviewed uh, Ashley Watts, our, our uh, Miss GSU earlier. She's phenomenal. Oh, she is absolutely phenomenal. She and, and Michael Meadows and Cecil Holden, all, all of the, the student leaders who are, I mean, they're, they're just, they're, they're great students, mm -hmm. first of all, and they're great student leaders. They lead by example. Which is very important. Yes, yes, absolutely. So, you know, just the, the opportunity to, to be a part of such a, a great community, and there's so much energy yeah. and excitement. That's on the good. campus, oh yeah, That's and so good. everywhere we go, we we feel. I mean, we were in Arizona, or when we were in Jackson, you know, beating up on the Jackson State Tigers. Yes, we you know. did. Uh, I mean, everywhere we go, there there's just this renewed energy, and and to to hear our our alums say, you know, we're excited about the future of mm -hmm. Grambling. We're excited know? about Grambling again. Yes, I think at yes. one point. 
a lot of us kind of lost the excitement. We lost the passion. And, sure. You know, and I get it. There's been a lot of changes. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Look, so, but you've done great so far. Well, thank you. I mean, I, and, and as I told the, uh, the, the Board of Supervisors, you know, my management board, that I would put God first in everything that we do mm -hmm. on that campus. And, you know, our students and the university will be our priority. So uh, I figure putting God first and our, our students, you know, how could we fail? Right. You know, we absolutely no, will not. Will not. So let's talk about some more stuff that you've done. Sure. So you've got us national press, which mm -hmm. is amazing. We've always needed more press. I we I always say huge name, huge name, but sometimes we get lost in the Morehouses and the Clarks and the Hampton and Howards. So I love the fact that it's the Washington Post, the Undefeated, the yeah. Tom Joyner Foundation, Roland Martin on TV One, and countless of other things that you've done since then. You've also hired a um, interim provost. Dr. Yes. Smiley, yes. Um, a new sports information director, yes. uh, who is an actual Grambling alumni. Mm -hmm. um, so you've done so much in such a quick amount of time. What is what's next? Well, you, I mean, there's a then, there's a lot going on. As a matter of fact, we'll we'll be uh, uh, interviewing the finalists for our uh, vice president of advancement, our fundraising uh, okay. top fundraiser. We, we will do that uh, on campus next week. Uh, the um, um, athletic director's position, uh, the application period will close tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So that's been a priority. And yes. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So we're we're moving that forward. You know, again, you have to understand the you know the the, the magnitude of the of the Grambling brand to to really be able to I think move it forward. Mm -hmm. And you know, although I you know, certainly give credit to my predecessors who you know were all very well credentialed right. uh, in their respective fields, and I you know, certainly don't take anything away from them. But you know, un unless you've been like me, a kid who, you know, marched on the sideline with the with the band in the Dust Bowl, which is where okay. the where the nursing school is now. Okay, okay. The the band used to practice there and they called it the Dust Bowl because okay. when they marched it was dust everywhere. Okay. I mean, you know, to, to grow up in, in that environment, you know, I mean literally right across the street from the campus. And, and for those that don't know, Doctor Gallo is from Grambling, yes. Louisiana. Yes. So that yes. connection you have to me, that's what makes you a better president than, well, than the others. I mean, I know you don't have to say it, of course, but I will say it. When you have that Grambling connection, he grew up literally in the city. He grew up seeing the struggles that the university may have gone through. It makes, to me, it makes your it makes you love it and like it more. A absolutely. You have more passion for it. Well, look, and I, I've known all the presidents but one. I, I didn't know Charles P. Adams right. because he was deceased before I was born. But otherwise, I mean, you know, I, I knew Prez, Ralph Waldo Emerson mm -hmm. Jones. I mean, he was wow. he was a man of the people. I mean, you know, he was out on campus. Students saw him. You know, faculty saw him. He he was everywhere. And and you know, he was the one who developed the motto where everybody is somebody. Mm -hmm. And and there's a certain expectation that our Graham fam has. You know, that everybody yeah. is somebody. Yeah. So With you know, fee sheet. yeah. Uh, th well. <laughs> Even those without a fee sheet, right. you know, are somebody, yes. and uh, you know, and, and I guess because I've you know been in, in politics and and knowing that fifteen years. Yeah, I was I was in the state legislature mm -hmm. for uh, for fifteen years, and uh, you know, just being in in that role, I think helps you appreciate the the, the little things. You know, like last weekend uh, when we beat up on uh, Alcorn. Uh, you know, I went out in the tailgating area. Mm -hmm. Not only did I go and, and visit with, with our alums, I went to the to the Alcorn area as well because I wanted them to nice. feel welcome in Grambling to know that, you know, even though we're going to play this game tonight, mm -hmm. we're family. Yeah. As HBCUs, I think we, we have to get a better uh, feeling of love for one another, mm -hmm. you know, and support. I mean, we had uh, Dr. Brian Johnson, president of Tuskegee, uh, was our, our speaker on campus for our Founders Day I this saw week? That. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, Dr. Johnson's a great guy. I mean, he's a great president. Uh, I enjoyed having that time to, uh, you know, that one-on-one -on -one with him uh, to, to just dialogue. And we're definitely he and I are going to do many things going forward. Very good. Also, because of course, you know, just a little bit of history. You know, Grambling began when Booker T. Washington sent Charles P. Adams to Grambling. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you know. Uh, Tuskegee got its start from Hampton. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, my, my goal is, and, and uh, the current Hampton president is one of, the, one of the longest serving in the country. I know there's a lot I can learn from him. And I mean, their endowment, you know, is, uh, I don't know, yeah. 250 million or some, you know, some crazy I mean, number. yeah, Leah, some, some really crazy <laughs> number. But I, I absolutely believe that Grambling can match what they're doing in fundraising and everything Absolutely. else. Because I mean, our, our brand is big, you know, Eddie Robinson, Huge. the band, 
everything I, I know that we can do better going forward and I'm excited again about the future of Grambling. I'm excited too. So let's take a moment. I want to get you to, uh, to answer some alumni questions. Sure. I have three of them for you. They're amazing questions. So shout out to our alumni that uh, sent President Gallo over some questions via the Tom Jordan Foundation. We're going to come back and talk a little bit more about what's next at Grambling and we're going to get to know Gallo outside of the suit, outside of the president role. We're going to get to know President Gallo. We'll be right back.